down, up, up, down. Long as it works, I don't really give a What's going on, Power Director peeps? Today is Desktop Saturday, and I am blessed to be able to show you how to reverse the timeline track order using Power Director 18. If you've been wondering how to reverse your timeline order, I want you to put hashtag reverse timeline in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director 18. Now, I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey. If you want to hear me ramble on, you can keep watching. If you want to jump to where I show you how to change the track order, then I'm going to place a timestamp in the video description so you can jump right forward to that and skip all of my rambling and talking that I do. So, I've been editing videos since the early 90s, and one of the first NLEs that I used was Pinnacle Studio. As some of you may know, I have a channel that I no longer make videos for called Pinnacle Studio Pro. Now, there was a lot of things that I loved about that program. The effects, the interface, yada, 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 all kind of good stuff. As time went on, I wanted to expand my knowledge around editing and try more complex things. So I started using programs like Adobe Premiere and Final Cut. And although each program had its differences, there was always one thing in common. The timeline track order in every program was top down. This meant that any asset in a track above another asset would display in the video preview screen and on the final rendered video. Now, because every editor I used at the time followed this approach, it made it real easy to switch between programs. Now, of course I had to, you know, understand where the different functionality was and features were, but the interface was pretty much the same. You got a preview screen, you got your media library, and then you got your timeline track. And your timeline track order was always top down. Then I decided to try a program called Cyberlink Power Director. For me on my machine, Power Director was stable, reliable, fast, intuitive, and powerful. And I could do just about anything that I could do on other programs without any issues in a reasonable amount of time. But there was an inconvenience that freaking drove me bonkers. The timeline track order was bottom up. This was contrary to every NLE that I had used up to that point. Every time I used Power Director, I would put a title over a video clip thinking it would show up and then realize that I had to place the title below the video clip. It, this was a minor frustration, but it was an issue that I ran into over and over and over again. Now, to be truthful with you, once I started using Power Director as my main editor, I got used to the bottom up timeline track order. Like right now, I'm used to it and I'm probably gonna keep it that way because that's what I'm comfortable with now. Now, it's actually second nature for me now and I find myself still using it to this very day. But as others switch over to Power Director and they get to see how popular and great this program is, they might have a need to reverse the timeline track order so that the interface is more suited to their editing workflow. So I figured I'd show you folks how to get it done. So as you can see in the default timeline track order, you have a bottom up view. That's what we're seeing right now. So basically anything in the lower track is gonna be visible in the display screen and the final re rendered video. So if I scrub my playhead across here, you see I have a title way down here and this title underneath this video means that the title is visible. Then I also have a overlay here of my lower third. Once again, this is below this video, which means that it is visible. Now, if I were to take this video here and place it below this overlay, you won't see it anymore because anything below it is now visible. And if I were to move this video clip here, you wouldn't see this video at the lake anymore, but you would be able to now see the lower third because it is below that clip. But now you can't see this clip above it. If I move this, put my playhead back, now you can see the lake again. So basically you can see that anything below something else is visible when you have the default 
timeline set up. Now, let me show you just how simple it is to reverse the timeline track order. What I do is go to preferences, go to editing, and then you want to click on reverse timeline track order and click on OK. Now, if I scroll all the way up, you'll see that everything has been reversed. Usually, you'll see at the bottom that the music, the voiceover, and the title track are at the bottom. Right now, they're at the top. So any titles that I put up here is going to be visible on top of any of these video clips. And that might make sense to a lot of people because just like if you're stacking pancakes or stacking a cake or whatever, whatever you put on top, you see above the things that are below it. So basically, I could see this title above the video because the video is down here in track one. Now track one, two, three, four, all go from the bottom up. And so if you look at this, you now have a top-down approach to your clips. So any clips you put on top will show above anything that is below it. Is that lower third over the video? Here's this video. As you move it forward, you now see the video below it, which is this person on the bike. So you pretty much get the idea. It's pretty easy to go ahead and switch your timeline order to make it useful for you and your editing workflow. And that's how you reverse your timeline order using PowerDirector 18. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 18 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.